the person that sent this FLA uh, is in the middle of doing the three tutorials that are flash tutorial request 51, 52, 53, which are called memory game. And when the when the person got to this stage and tested it, they got some errors. And the errors are this 1023 incompatible override and 1021 duplicate of definition. And I really don't know anything at all about this first one, but this 1021 duplicate of definition, that means somewhere in your code, your action script, or somewhere in your labeling of, of um, symbols, you, you made an error. And it directs me to scene one, frame 41, line five. So if I look at scene one, which is I'm on here, line 41, right there, and five, if I open it, it talks about this circle try, right here. That's a name. And this is the function name, and the function is activated, if you want to use that word, up here by this button called circle try underscore MC. So I played around with this for the longest time. And something I found out was if I actually, I even rewrote it because sometimes just rewriting the code makes it work. So I found out by if I change this name at all, so I'm going to get rid of the I on try, get rid of the I on try. And now then I tried it. And I got a new fault access undefined property circle try underscore MC and that rings a bell this uh, 1120 fault that rings a bell for me it means that on line three of that same action script if you look at it it's not recognizing this so which leads me to think that there's something wrong with the labeling of the instances so I'm going to put this back the way it was just undo and undo and I have to unlock the targets for the movie clips and each of these keyframes I got to check to see if indeed the movie clips have the proper labels so I'm selecting this frame right here I'm putting this down to uh, 25% and clicking off to the side I'm going to open my properties panel and one at a time, I'm going to try to find that. There's try, try. And I want to find that one's good. That one's good. There's try circle underscore MC. That's good. That's good. That's good. They all look good. Try square, try circle. Okay. So then go to the next keyframe right here see this one and when I do these are the ones now that are new these are the ones I just tested down here so it's this group here I got to check and if I go through these right here this is the one that is called circle try and you can see it's not labeled the same as the code so I got to get on the end of that underscore MC movie clip enter now, if, if indeed all this was, had no keyframes, I would be finished there, but I'm not. I have to go into this next keyframe, and again, it's going to be, select that frame, click off the side, open the properties panel up, and I think it's this one again. Again, this one's wrong. Shift underscore MC. Enter. I'm going to go to the next keyframe. It's going to be this one here. Oops. Oh, no, it's not. It's going to be one of these ones over here. I think it's going to be wrong. There, try circle. See that? And there's one wrong everywhere. Uh, shift 
underscore MC. That's good. Go to the next keyframe here. It's one of these two. Not that one. That one. Shift underscore MC. Go to the next keyframe. It's going to be this one down here, I believe. No. Nope. Yeah, right there. Shift underscore MC. Enter. All right, we're getting there. This frame right here. See it is? Same one in here. Oops. I put that in the wrong spot. Shift underscore MC. Enter. The next keyframe here. You can't miss any of these keyframes. In the wrong spot. Shift underscore MC. And at least there might be one more. And I think that this might be all right. There's no way of checking it up here, I don't think. Yeah, I think that's going to be all right now. And if indeed after you um, go on further and get this memory game working, if for some reason you get in this area and it doesn't work, like like here you're going to have to add a add the proper code and here enter the proper code. But right now let's see test movie test and I have no errors. And if I click on it, this just tells me try again, try again try again, try again, and eventually this one will say correct and jump me to the next frame. I'm just checking some action code out here. Go to and play again, go to and play again, yeah. They haven't got the, um, the go to the next frame on the main timeline. So, hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learn.